Good kitten. Internet. Oh, no. I mean, to put you a little taller. So, this particular recording has been fraught with mischief. And not all of it was even caused by Boo Kitty. It was caused by a different kitty. Um, so, before I start, I want to point out, I no longer have a D-pad. Um, technically, I have the little D-pad thing for my 360 controller right here. Not that you can see it very well until I put it in front of my head. But... And Boo Kitty's on my lap. I need her off of my lap so I can close my screwdriver case up. Oh, boy. This has been a video, to put it mildly. This is... Oh, boy. So, um, when I was... The most recent thing was dealing with the controller. When I was about to start this video, uh, Boo Kitty's on my lap still. Um, yeah, when I was about to start the video... Go on, Boo. I had noticed that it was constantly going toward the left. I'm, I'm, oh. Like that? Uh, you still see a little corner of the green screen. That'll do. I don't know why I'm slid over. There. Um, anyway. I had noticed it was constantly going to the left, and I cracked open my tool case, opened up my three six or my Xbox One controller, and noticed that. So the way membrane switches work, which is the way controllers in general work, is that there's a little like air bubble, and what you're doing is that you're making a contact between the top and part bottom part of the switch. Um, that bubble's not there anymore for the left D pad. So, this is my result. Uh, luckily, I don't use the D-pad for much of anything. Which is good. Uh, especially not for this. And I'm okay with replacing my controller. I was actually kind of thinking about it anyway. Um, if only because uh, the Xbox Series controllers are using USB-C. And I far prefer USB-C over the micro USB port that's on the back of the controller that already doesn't work correctly on this controller. Um, so this was already something I was thinking about to begin with. So it's not too big of a deal, but the Xbox Series controllers aren't out yet. So I'm gonna let this one limp along for a little bit longer. Like I said, for what I'm doing for PS1 games, I'm fine. Where I'm going to have problems is when I... Uh, Wild Arms 3 will probably be a problem. <sighs> and in a rush, this is still my best controller. Uh, my only other option would be a Switch controller. And I couldn't get that to work properly in the short amount of time that I had. So where was I? <laughs> Alright, I know I finished the first cannon fight. Alright, we need to check up on status. Ashley is still, in fact, forgetful. Uh, yep. Have I reloaded ammo? I, I do use the D-pad occasionally for things like when I'm going through menus, I typically use the D-pad. So this is actually throwing me off slightly, but that's not a big deal. I mean, this isn't a fast twitch game or anything, so it's not that big of a deal in general. Alright, uh, I need to go to the alchemical plant. I don't remember entirely where that's at, but I think that's this way. Oh, that's right. Um, so, Candice was asking uh, Althea and Luna about the shiny that I had left behind. And yes, that is still on the map. You actually may have just barely saw it on the map. I meant to go hit that before and didn't. Crap. Oh, dealt zero. Sweet. Poof. Did. So let me go do that now. 
while I'm thinking about it. Yeah, you could barely see the shiny. It does retain on the map. Um, there are two types of, well, three types of things that you can encounter using the radar. The first are locations that you go to, like cities, dungeons, etc. Uh, the second are those random items, like what's over there. And the third is the, eh, you might as well, for lack of a better way of phrasing it. So those are actual items. They're like, if you made a new game of Wild Arms 2, you would see that Vitality Apple there. Um, it's when I get like one Gela and stuff like that, that's just the game going, eh, keep searching here, have something. And those are randomly determined. There's not an actual um, item there. That's the reason why you can see me search the same location multiple times and randomly get something one of those times. Uh, kinda wish my camera was a little further back. But now I'm gonna get her attention. There, that'll do. Yes, kitten. Yeah, I need it. I wish I had a better camera setup for this. Um, so yeah, I guess I can talk a little bit about my camera setup. Uh, so what I'm looking at right now is a Sony Alpha 6000. It's a mirrorless camera that's primarily used for photo taking um, by most people. I primarily use it for video and on the side use it for photo taking. It was my hobby project. Ooh, that would have been my first vlog. No, second vlog. Second beta, I should say. And Buki decided to walk off. Cool. Um... What was I even saying? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so this is a very fancy camera for a um, webcam type setup. That's the reason why I actually look fairly decent. Well, that and the fact that I have halfway decent lighting. Um, I'm not the greatest at lighting, but from my theater background, I actually generally know, like, I could look at something and go, this might be good enough. And that's the situation I'm in with this. Yes, boo? Where in the world is the stupid alch alchemical plant? This is going to be another one of those things that I just searched the desert for forever. Anyway, um, so my other camera, this camera right here, uh, that is a Logitech C910. Or 920, sorry. C910 is one that's being borrowed by somebody else right now. Um, it's definitely not very good. You can tell when I put my hand up and it read autofocus, you notice how it changes the color immediately? That's because it's color balances. Bad. I tried using that. You, you can even see the color balance changing when I'm just rotating in my chair. Sort of see the shadow against the green screen. I'm not doing anything. I'm barely covering a light. And that's it. It's not a good webcam. And sure, for a webcam at the time that I bought it, it was probably the best on the market. It's not anymore. And I would replace it, except that I primarily use this for my webcam, for personal stuff. For work, I actually use this one here. And it's good enough for how crappy quality Teams ends up getting. Teams, Zoom, WebEx, GoToMeeting, whatever service that any company ends up asking me to go on a meeting about. The life of an IT person. I have to use everybody's. Okay, I'm just going to look up where this stupid location is. This is driving me up the wall. There we go. 
Because I don't care if Loka and Tim are balanced, I care if Brad is balanced. There, now I don't have to pay attention. Um... Got wild arms too, please. Tim hit 26, that's nice. Um, why can I never find where in the world this place is? For reference, this isn't um, uncommon for me. In fact, it's really common for me not to know where things are at in this particular section of the game. Alright. Oh. I was actually standing right next to it. It's right here. Alright. Let's go. Oh, we've identified a report that arms has infiltrated our planet. So, they finally come. Antonora, I'm leaving the plant's defenses to you. This position here? Yes. I'll be joining Ptolemaea and heading for the Heimdall Gazel. This place is in your hands. Yes, sir. Do you hate me? What? Why all of a sudden? You think I don't know? If I can't have your heart, then I have no desire for this world. If you think I'm your enemy, kill me here and now. Winsfield, sir. Please hurry, Vinsfield, sir. Right now, we're being ambushed by the arms. <laughs> so yeah, there's some things going on with Antonora, by the way. Yeah, we are immediately in combat. can turn off auto battle now that I'm not manually combing the desert. Shenzhen. Those are actually some pretty cool designs now that I'm looking at them. Hmm. What are you, anyway? Shenzhen. Level 22. 260 hit points. Weak against darkness. Yep, definitely don't have that element right now. I do have Punch Element. Does Punch Element work for you? How about Fire? Ooh, you're actually resistant to Fire. Interesting. Ah. They're resistant to everything. Cool. This is the dungeon that I'm remembering. So there was one dungeon in the game that I was just remembering and this is it, apparently, where everything in the dungeon is strong against magic. And guess what I have in two of my three members of my party? Yes, might hurt a little bit. Hmm. Welcome to the alchemic plant. Punch. Bonk. Gotta love those sound effects. At least they're dropping big berries. Those are helpful, at least. Making sure that I really am have forget Really am have. I speak English natively. Can you tell? <sighs> My brain's not been working very well in the past 
few days. If you couldn't tell from the last video and how often I was messing up pronunciation of things. Ooh, you have counterattacks. Too bad that you can't even hit Wilka, really? Bonk. Out of curiosity, can I hit you with Buka? No. <clears throat> nope, that's not the right way. The other color, Blacao. There's something special about them too, what was it? Zap. Governor off. That's what it was. Resistance. Uh, they up all of their stats and also cast Reflect on themselves. This is really obnoxious, this dungeon. Bonk. Luckily, that's actually enough damage. Ooh, one of each. Yeah, they can't hit me. I'm not really overleveled. I didn't really do a grind fest. Most that I've done is getting Tim spells. And that was primarily against low level enemies. I'm really confused. I can go to either side that way. There doesn't appear to be anything that way, other than an enemy. I won't bother walking that way. Neener, neener. I will go after the enemies that I am encountering on my route. Boo kitty, want to come back? There we go, boo. Hi, kitty cat. Just think, I'm fast-forwarding through combat stuff. We're going at about 2x speed. I think it's about 2x at least. Mmm, you're not dead yet. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna govern her off a second time, eh? Bonk. Yeah, you don't have that many hit points. It's not worth buffing. Just die like the creature that you are. Aww. How about I lean like this? This might hurt after a bit because my camera location I can't easily reach to rotate. Alright. Let's see. That top one goes into that passage. That right one goes nowhere. The left one, I can't tell where it goes. Is there anything in here that I care about? Well, I know this is going to be the correct route. Keep trying to use the D-pad for things when the D-pad doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, you're unlocking your own governor, so I don't think I can kill you immediately. The other one's trying to attack. This was the bad order, but I have no way of knowing. Bonk. Oh! I actually do enough. That's weird. Oh, maybe they governored twice or something? On the same one, that is? So, was there anything there? No, there wasn't. I chose correctly. Hooray. Also, why do I not have Ashley with his radar out? Nothing. Okay. Eh, just fight me. Ooh. 
Ooh, you're going to actually hit Brad, but you can't the others. Maybe your attack's magic? Hmm. That's an interesting side effect. Alright. What's up these stairs? This is just the other side of the passage, isn't it? I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. I'm not following a guide for this. It's more that I knew that I needed to come to this dungeon, because that's what we were told last time, and that's what the low-level guide is telling me. But the low-level guide doesn't actually tell me any details on things for reference, for anything other than the relevant stuff. Which is fine. That's kind of the way I prefer it be a lot easier if I wasn't constantly reloading and my memory actually working. Sleepy blue kitty. Do you have a rough day of looking outdoors? That's what Boo Kitty does for most of the day, by the way, is she sleeps or stares outside and purrs. I wish I could have her out and about with the other kitties, but that is not a viable option most of the time. They do have multiple poses, all of them. Interesting. Alright. This is where I need to be. Wow! This seems like a bit much. We can confuse the enemy by using this machine. Our mission will become a lot easier. This looks like a job for me. I'll take care of this. You guys need to go on to the deepest steps. After I finish here, I'll follow. We'll operate independently for a time. Brad? Okay, we'll meet up in the deepest steps then. Okay, let's go. So, yep, that's right. We are now down one of our party members on top of everything else. Ashley, you don't deserve to be in the front row. Can you really leave Brad here all by himself? I mean, I've decided to have faith in my friends, but... Ugh. Well, that's obviously not a boss. Now these enemies are a lot trickier, unfortunately, because I have two enemies, or two characters, not two enemies. And they have magic. If I was high enough level, Saber would easily take them out. This actually does do more damage than my attack, right? Yeah, just not by much. You did not get governored up, so I can spark you. Zap. Now you're turning off your governor. Mm. Funk is the answer. Just. 
bonk. Oh, is something inside? They're saying something. I must know. They're transmitting. How do I do that? Ah. Sir, the guard robot is ready. This one has a bad radiator. Sharp temperature could sh cause the robot to shut down. Until a new radiator comes, all we can do is improvise. Understood. Use string and gum if you have to, soldier. I was right. Just not the correct element. Apparently it's fire and not ice. Bonk. I don't know why that was the bonk sound effect, but sure. I'm just going to avoid enemies for a bit because this is kind of obnoxious. So the reason why call works is that it's just a radio call and we have a bunch of interference. I think I left my code book in a locker somewhere. Have you seen it? Sorry, I ain't seen it. That thing's top secret. We'll catch hell for losing it. I better find it right away. Where could I have left it? Oh, damn it. I briefly picked up my Switch controller while I was trying to troubleshoot things, and... Password style lock is set. Password? Well, we just have to find that password book now, don't we? Ooh, what's in here? Do I actually have to get closer? Yes. Huh. Hello, locker. Important top secret code book. Yeah, we should read the codes. Really? Fine. Take a screenshot. <sighs> I wasn't paying attention. Spark. Bonk. Zap. Slice. Slice. They must be using dark elemental attacks or something, I don't know. Oh, neither one of them used governor. Well, sucks to be you. Come on, bonk. There's stuff up here. That seems dangerous. Of them here. Commander, it's time to change the password. We're using QOW now, right? No, sir. That was the last one. We're using ONM now. And that's what I was about to say. Anyhow, change the password according to the code book. Yes, sir. Right? Okay, yeah, there's nothing else in here. Time to head back to the password door and insert in our password. Well, at least these are easier. I don't have to pay as much attention. Oh. Monster beam! Ow.
fine. I'll combine. And first aid first, so I can heal. Salt died. It's our favorite Dargan. That's right. I'm going through a top secret military base hidden in the middle of the desert with a bunch of kids. I mean, Ashley's a kid too, really, but. Password has been confirmed. The door has been unlocked. Can you make noise? Oh, we have Hurricane Epsilon now. Cool. 2020. At least I have Blue Kitty. Because Blue Kitties are best kitties for the ones that are out. Well, if you're going to stand there, I'll turn this up a bit. Well, this is always a good sign. Yes, boo. I wish I could turn my camera a little bit right now, but that's... Well, maybe I can? That's a little turned, at least. Of course, boo keeps trying to turn closer and closer because she wants to be with me. That's fine. You can be with me, boo. Okay. Um... <laughs> Is that equipment check done? Yes, sir. Almost finished. Governor off. I think they might do that when they're hit with magic, specifically. Bonk. Let's try it. What happens if I just attack? Interesting. It might actually be easier for me to just attack. We'll find out. I'll try it next time. Not item call. Um, just a few more things. Bop, recorder, flashlight. One each, sir. All right, then. Hold on a sec while I start recording. This just seems elaborate for no reason. Just saying. Trying to use item. I have a status report, sir. Invading armed troops have destroyed several guard and patrol bots. Oh, I see. Those armed guys have been lucky. But we can't let them get any further into the interior. Tighten our defenses. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> All right, let's see if this theory is correct, which means we should go normal battle for those two. Bonk. Nope, they're governoring off anyway. That's close enough. I'm not too concerned.
keep trying to do that. Dang it. It's pretty boring, considering the incursion by arms. No. It's way too mellow. Did arms really attack? Eh, don't sweat it. Let the patrol bots take care of them. After all, there's no sense in putting ourselves into danger. Oh, and this is back here. This is where we came from? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, that is. Oh, yeah, if you're wondering how I got Isk, uh, where is that? Um, so it's basically just rotating through a cipher. And you just slide over, if I remember right. Anyway. Uh, that's not where I wanted to go. This is where I wanted to go, I think. Or is this just where we came from? This is just where we came from. Darn it. What direction did I end up going here? Oh, no. This is the one that needs the audio recording. Oh, no. Oh, don't embarrass me. to rank A members and the special Cactus Corporation. All right, so. I need to get that recorder that was mentioned. All right, now you're to help me track down the arms intruders. Yes, sir, consider me a part of the search team now. I think I just walk out and in again. Apparently not. Maybe I need to go to the next one. This is the problem is that I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Yes, that is what I'm supposed to be doing. Nothing. Nothing. Ha! Huh. Always wanted something like this. Recorder required. Not actually a tool, unfortunately. Now I get to go record Antonora's voice. So I'm pretty sure Antonora is supposed to have a very seductive voice. But this game doesn't have any voiceover, so it's hard to be certain. But with what I know about Antonora, that's probably what's going on. Eh. So how it goes. Yeah, this section is really boring to me, because there's not even really much in the way of thought. Yes, there was the cipher. And, but the recorder part, it's just like, okay, I need to figure out what they're even asking me for. Bonk. Fine. I mean, they don't even hit me. That's how bad this is. All I'm doing is holding down my fast forward button. Could just hit my keyboard, but meh. They can't hit my two mages. This is just ridiculous. Now I have to use the recorder? The recorder from before? I can get Antonora's voice. With that, I'll be able to easily pass the voice print test. What has ARMS done since then? 
All we know is this, ma'am. Several patrol bots have been destroyed, but still no trace of arms. Now get this straight, soldier. You and every troop in this plant is an elite Odessa fight. Are elite Odessa fighters. So no more lame excuses. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. We'll find those armed chumps and hang them by their petards. <laughs> I scored. But this all passed the voice verifier. And that wouldn't bother me so much if it was a tool that was going to be used more than once. But it's a tool that's going to be used for this one place and nowhere else. <sighs> well, time to save. We've got stoof up ahead. Lots of stoof. What am I doing on time? 41 minutes. Okay. It's not like I can go back at this point. I can't even leave this dungeon right now, for reference. Oh, I have to use the voice recorder first. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure why I have to, but sure. Would have thought they would have been smart enough. All right. Don't forget, all the soldiers here at the plant were from Odessa's forces. That's not what she said. Really, I don't understand it. I think my voice is way cuter, but... Oh well, Machine couldn't have been able to tell me that. What do the others say? Okay, I have to know. How far back is the safe state? It's there. Um, man, I'll just do it again. Give me a moment. For some reason, I thought I had a more recent save state. Not a big deal. I can just build this. Resave, because otherwise things get wonky. What's Tim say? Uh, what, what I should I shouldn't be talking, should I? Ah, huh. I can't use Tim to do this. Interesting. I don't know if I've ever had anyone other than uh, Luca in front for this. I must get the voice, which will act as a key. You have the voice, you fool. Unless the save state's from even further back. Did I save state before getting the recording. It looks like I did. Yep. Cool. Well, that didn't work. One moment. Rumble. All I was trying to do is figure out what they said. know that <sighs> recorder all right it worked I can talk now right all right and then Ashley 
dumb thing does Ashley have to say? Because Ashley does not appear to be very smart. Great! It worked! Though it's a machine, it's disappointing how far from the truth it is. And if it had been a human, it could have been worse. Bad translation, I think. Alright. It's time. You remember this from cutscenes, right? We're almost to the energy reactor. It's a dead end up ahead. Let's try elsewhere. Antonora! You. You plan on bringing Vinsfield down? If so, what of it? We're gonna put a stop to your schemes! Impossible. That's not possible for you. Because I'm going to stop you. I'm not gonna let you take you all take him down. I don't want to witness that. Let's end this thread. Right, let this thread make you dance. Dance the dance of death. It suits you all so well. Well, first off, no. Second off, no. All right. This is where things get weird. Because it's a mage battle. I think the best bet is to actually attack to get my force points up. Good. Femeron! No! That actually hurts a lot now, by the way. And silenced crap. Oh, that is the one status effect I didn't want. Not that I want any of them, but that's the worst possible one for Lilka. Um, yeah, you're gonna have to first aid. Because I need to make sure that Lilka has more hit points than that. Shockwave! That one I can deal with. Especially now that Loka has gobs of magic. Uh, is it high spark time? I think it might be high spark time. Uh, yeah, let's first aid to bring everybody back up because I have squishies. Hi, spark. Blah. 11 damage. Mage fight! Out of curiosity, does Saber do any more or less damage? Saber is nice. Less, okay. That's what I thought it would, but wasn't sure. Graviton. Long. Nice park. Zoom. Ephemeron on Tim. That might suck. No status, though. Nice. That best. Funk. going to high spark, you're going to first aid. So I can take more than one hit. I mean, even if she starts ephemeroning repeatedly, like that, I'm generally fine. Besides, she doesn't have that many hit points, if I remember right. It's like something like 7,000, I think. Uh, probably means she's going to be dead from this turn, but um, I'm going to take a risk. 
What do you even have equipped? Ah, uh, you also have Stolver. Wait. Dang it, me. That would have been so much better. Let's see, we haven't seen the others yet. Let's show off Grudiv. Lots of combining going on. We want to bounce those force levels up and down. I've seen this one before. This actually do more or less damage than a high. More. Cool. Is that all you can do? Don't disappoint me. With your current powers, it's impossible for you to destroy him. Sign that. Sorry, but your organization has an intelligence leak. Impossible! Are you sure? I wonder, what's it like to have someone you trust turn on you? After all, your bonds are only so strong. This is going to come up again, by the way. It's a... Doppelganger. Quite amusing little sideshow, don't you say? This formless monster seals not only one shape, but one's memories and skills, too. The intelligence gathered by a doppelganger was gathered by a doppelganger in the form of Brad. The doppelganger I sent in has stirred up more distrust than we ever had hoped. Had ever hoped. How can this happen? What are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. What are you doing? It's not over yet. Kick. Brad! Hand over the eat my dust. Now. What's the matter? He might be fake as well. You said our ties were only so strong. Well, you may be right. No, you are right. I once mistrusted a friend for like 10 minutes. I couldn't completely trust someone I fought alongside of. That's why this time I'm putting my trust in my friends. So I don't submit to you and to strengthen my relationships. That sentence structure doesn't even make sense, right? Right, right. Brad! Catch. Bonk. Ooh, there's no need to go all out. Teleport. Oh, Brad. Retreat. We failed our mission. Retreat and regroup. No. I won't back down. I'm going to finish the mission. How? Eat my dust has been used, so how are you going to blow up the plant? Well, there's a bomb implanted directly into my neck, remember? It'd be ridiculous! It. The gas won't come off so easily! That is, in fact, a gas, not. gas. whatever. There's no time. It's not smart like eat my dust. The bomb can't be neutralized later on. Before I blow up the plant, you guys need to get out of here. What are you going to do? My job. Sorry. <laughs> I had to make a reference to Kung Fury. I'm going to fulfill my destiny as a hero. Promise to return. We're heroes because we always return from danger. Remember, that's what Loka had said to Ashley earlier. Meh. Evacuate immediately. Don't look back. Just go forward and get out. What are you saying? What do you mean? Brad, you're... Believe. We'll meet again. Promise. I promise. 
The way I'm picturing this because of limitations is literally Ashley just dragging the other two along. Which is funny because Ashley is weaker than a newborn kitten right now. Going off the one's death is what heroes do, I guess. The doppelgangers are just watching Brad. Right now, this moment, I understand what he felt. Doesn't look like I'll be able to keep my promise, but I think I'll be forgiven. I'm off to fulfill my destiny as a hero. Boom! <laughs> I think this might be the midpoint of the game. Might be a little early to be the midpoint. Tim's crying. Loka is down. Ashley is down. We detected the explosion for Valeria Chateau 2. Based on the pattern, we think it was Gaius. It was definitely Gaius, the bomb that was implanted in Brad Evans' neck. Is it at all possible? Is it all possible that he survived? Uh, a powerful bomb around his neck has exploded. Sorry, wrong voice. We cannot imagine someone surviving such a thing. I'm sorry, Brad. There was a time that I doubted you. But not anymore. I put all of my faith in someone who's dead. I have a new mission for you now. At a time like this! Uh, uh. Destroying Odessa utterly without wasting one breath. Return peace to the world. Return, return kitties to slumber. That is the only true way we have to mourn Brad. Yes. Yes, that's what we'll do. That'll make it better, won't it? Remember, Lilka lost her sister. And still hasn't recovered from that loss. Luca was basically turning the arms team into her family, and she already lost one of her parental figures. And nothing's ever said about Luca's parents at all in this game. Pretty sure she's an orphan on top of it. Tim, you shouldn't mope around forever either. Cheer up! Uh, yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Sorry, I am fine. Seriously, Tim's 12. Come on. Your next mission is to guard someone very important. Guard the Guild Galad Master's son and take him back to his country. Maybe attacked by Odessa? I think that's supposed to be we may be attacked by Odessa. The request for protection came from the Guild Galad Master. Ugh. That is unbelievable. Does he think ARMS is his own personal escort service? I knew I had a reason for disliking him. Use this long distance subway for this mission. The station is located north of Kortley at the mountain's foot. Meet with him there. Oh, well, can't be crying all the time. <laughs> Brad would laugh. Time for action now! Yes. And we need to have Ashley all forgetful again. I am going to save it here. I'm going to go to Silvaland to become forgetful, then save again and stop. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!